Okay, so what you'd want to do first is figure out what the pH is. So we have this sodium chloride. So what's the pH, everybody? If you didn't know that, if you didn't notice it was neutral, you would have to go through that method I go through in class where you go sodium and Cl, you do it separately, and then you write out the conjugates. And then both of those are strongs, so both of these would be neutral. So this has to be pH 7. Okay, so you'd have to get to neutral, ultimately, a neutral compound. All right, so we're at pH 7, so we're way over here on the range, on the right-hand side. So it should be yellow. So it's turning from red to yellow as you go through that range. Say that again. Well, if the range is from 0.8 to 2.5, which isn't 7. So anything past 2.5 would still stay yellow? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. So was... the indicator changes from red to yellow in the range 0.8 to 2.5. So it could be, it could change at 0.9, it could change at 1.5. It just um, depends on the compound. It's just it's in between. Okay. It'll be reddish, it'll be kind of orange. Yeah, a red-yellow mixture. So below 0.8, you'd say it'd be red. Yeah. Okay, cool.